everybody, Phil here for Android Central, and yes, you can see my lips moving. Um, we've had a lot of questions about what is contactless charging now that we're pretty sure we're going to see it on the uh, next Nexus, whatever, that Google and Samsung are going to unveil at CTIA. So uh, let's show you what it is here on the Nexus One. This is, I think, the first Android phone we saw it on. So if you'll recall, this phone has these three little gold contacts down on the bottom. And what they do is allow you to use it at a dock and take it off, put it on, and it starts charging. You don't actually have to plug the phone in. And, you know, I know people will say, and I've said this before, well, you still have to plug the dock in, and I've said that on uh, inductive charging as well. I tell you, once you really start using something like this full-time, it makes a huge difference because you can just pick the phone up and go, plop it right back on, and uh, you're set and you're charging, and everything is ready. Really, really enjoy it. Uh, this isn't the only phone we've seen it on. The uh, original MyTouch 4G also has it. I don't have any docks for it laying around. Uh, it's not just charging, although that, I mean, that's the big thing, right? So once you put it on, see if I can get it to do it. I've been taking this on and off. It actually recognizes that it's charging through here and then asks, in the case of this dock, hey, do you want to uh, play music out? So you remember this has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack in the back of it. There it goes. Use, for, uh, use dock for audio so you can tell it to or tell it not to. Uh, in the case of the car dock, it will, in, and in this one actually, it connects via Bluetooth to stream the audio, so it's not pumping the audio through the little gold contacts or anything. So that's what it is. It's not, you know, a huge deal, but once you use it, you're really not going to want to go back. So there you go, and we'll look forward to seeing it on the next Nexus.